be beaming, I be booming down that block. Down that block. Everywhere you go, you know they know I'm hot. What is the deal, my good people? Welcome back to the channel. Happy Wednesday. I hope you all are doing well. If this is your first time here at the channel, I want to welcome you. Pull up a seat. I hope you enjoy the content. And before I get into this food, I want to ask that you like, comment, share, subscribe, and go ahead and tap that bell while you're at it so you're notified anytime I drop a brand new video, go live, or schedule a premiere. All right, y'all, that was a mouthful. So what we have today are some chili cheese hot dogs, and I have some jalapeno chips on the side because they're my favorite. I'm excited about this because I haven't had a hot dog in a long time. So I got chili on mine, got cheese, jalapenos. I got some red onions too. Mmm. Now. Y'all already know. I had to do something different. This is not a meat hot dog. It's not a veggie hot dog either. When I say veggie, I'm talking about like the, you know, it's not like a meat, a veggie meat hot dog, whatever. It is a veggie dog. It's actually a carrot. That is my hot dog. So I have a carrot in here, y'all. Um, I'm impressed. Let me show y'all. I don't see the carrot. And before you click off, you're like, what is this? This is crazy. Mm. It's a cook with me at the end of this video. Um, I marinated the hot, I mean the, um, I marinated the carrot in a bunch of stuff like garlic, soy sauce, apple cider vinegar, honey, um, smoke has a really smoky flavor to it and even some sweetness because of the honey but anyway marinate it for like four hours put it on the grill let it soften up got the grill marks on it I am really impressed by this <laughs> wow And I did this too because, you know, I talk to a lot of people and a lot of people have given up me, want to give up me, don't like the veggie dogs that are in stores. I don't, I'm not a fan of the ones I've tried. Some are just pretty open at this point. And some people just have food allergies too because of the, the, the stuff that's sometimes in some of the processed like veggie meat and stuff. So... I want to try something different. So that's why I had to roll with the carrot and see see if I like it. <laughs> and I see. I'm just tripping because the flavor of the carrot. Like, it really took on the marinade. And these are the Sprouts brand of jalapeno chips. Wow. And I bought this when I was in Sprouts too. Shout out to Alexandria for reminding me around the state. Where the red sauce drip at? Where the sauce at? You're right. So I bought this sweet chili sauce. I want to try this on the hot dog. Almost bite. See how I feel about it. Ooh, that drip. delicious I don't even know what else to really call it it's good it's good of course it takes time to do it with the marinade but it's cool I like it and of course I was intrigued too because I haven't had carrots like I haven't had carrots in a meal I'm mean, like I had it on the side of like my cauliflower wings but I haven't had it in like something else in a really long time so I figured why not
coldest water bottle, y'all. Please tap the link in my description if you want to check out what they have available on their website, colors and sizes. And if you enter sauce on the way out, you will get free shipping. I'm really just tripping over this, y'all. You know, because when you see an idea, because I've seen this online before, and when you see it, you're like, get out of here. Stop. Y'all being so extra, really? <laughs> So, it's legit. It is. So, y'all. I've been in a deep state of self-reflecting. I think I've said that before. And I was really trying to focus on the areas where I need to, like, make some improvements. And I have two areas. That I have some work to do. Number one is my organization. I don't want to say my organization is trash, but it's trash. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. If, it's like I have all these tabs open in my head. I start doing one thing and I stop. And I don't put stuff back where it belongs. Like, I'm not messy. But, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'll, I'll circle back around and put stuff where it belongs and all of that. Like, I'm not the person to hop out the hop out of the bed and make my bed, even though I should, because I do feel better when my bed is made, but I'm just not that person. Like, it just takes me some time to eventually, like, make my bed. Um, I just got to be more organized, right? That's just the bottom line. And part of me wonders if this came from my childhood, Cause my mom used to always be on me around to every place. Has, everything has a home. Whenever you pick it up, put it back, blah, 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 blah. But I mean, of course that makes sense. But it's like when I moved out on my own, I just started being able to do what I wanted to do, you know? And not that I lived in a pig star, nothing like that. That's not what I'm saying at all. I'm just saying like, I got to stand to just be more organized. So I need like some little organization, little shelves and stuff, you know, to sort stuff so I can find it easier. Um, I need a bookshelf. Um, cause I want to start doing more reading. I need to be organized. That's number one. Number two. Number two. I need to work on not taking stuff so personal. Now, I will say I've done a lot of work in this area. I really have. But I can stand to do a little bit more. I'm going to give you a perfect example of the progress that I've made. Um, you guys, when my birthday just passed, and some people could not make it to my birthday, which I completely understand now. But old Rhonda, before I made progress, I would just get so caught up in how come so and so is not coming to my birthday? I do this, this, and this, this, and this, this for them. I do this for them, that for them, you know, and I would get so in my feelings. Like, but it wasn't about that. Like, that person has still, everything, the ways that they've shown up for you in your life, Rhonda, that still matters. And that's still valid. And they're still a good friend. And they just can't make it to your birthday. Um, I wasn't always like that. You know, like I said, I've made some progress, but I could do better. Okay, because I just, some things I just take personal. I do it. It's not necessary. And I will say that it doesn't last for a long period of time. Um, it just, I don't know. Like, I just, I take things personal sometimes. It's not everything. Not a lot of things. It's just very, it's just some things that just hit me sometimes, you know. And I think a lot of it is just that, not that I, I'm saying I can't be in my feelings. I'm just saying that being in my feelings about stuff keeps me from being productive. Um keeps me from responding to text messages sometimes um which sometimes is a good thing because I don't want to just fly off of the handle um but I'm just saying like it really interferes with a lot of stuff when I take stuff personal um when I look back it's just like dang right that wasn't necessary I could have got so much done had I not been caught up in my feelings. 
and I'm grateful I'm in tune with my feelings, but you know, my link to was somebody that is like a mentor in my head. And you know, she really talks about like how feelings are not facts and just really having to manage your feelings, you know, as it relates to things, because it can really stunt you with a lot of stuff. You know what I'm saying? And I just got work to do for real. Like I really do. Um, and I know it. So I'm working on that. I am actively working on that. I am. And it kind of makes me think about, it kind of goes hand in hand with the work I'm doing on like managing my expectations on people. Again, going back to the birthday situation, like everybody's not gonna make it to your birthday, Rhonda. It's not the end of the world. They're still a good friend. They're still a good person. Like all the stuff that they've done in your life and the way they've supported you and loved you is still the same. They just cannot make it to your birthday. And that's not that in life goes, you know what I'm saying? Like it's, I can't trip on it. And so again, I've made work in that regard. I've made progress in that regard, but I just think about how just managing my expectations of people. Like people are human beings. Just like I know I've let people down. I know I have. And I think if I work on my expectations and manage them and lower them, because I think for a long time my expectations on people were way too high. And then, you know, of course, so much disappointment came with that. Um, managing my expectations is going to help me not saying they take things personal, right? So, I want to be better at that. Organization. Organization and not taking things personal slash managing expectations on people. I think I'll be better for it in the long run. Um, it's going to help me in business, help me in my personal life. Um, and just, just help in my relationships, like my friendships, I think it's gonna help with everything, honestly. So that's something I'm actively working on. What are some things that when you guys have self-reflected or you just know areas you have to work on? I mean, cause I never wanna portray myself as this perfect person cause that ain't, that's so far from the truth. You know, like, uh -uh. it's so far from the truth. Taylor with the sauce again. Like even with the whole taking things personal, I have found myself recently taking negative comments personal, which I wasn't, they didn't used to bother me before, but now some recent ones have just like, I've allowed them to sting and kind of like, you know, I'll be looking at the comments, should I respond, should I not? I gotta be honest about that because at first, that stuff didn't bother me, but like now, it's just been things and maybe it's the things that they're saying, you know what I'm saying? That 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 kind of thing, and make me feel some kind of way, you know. But I can't take it personal because I have way more positive comments than I do negative comments, you know what I'm saying? But you know, you know how it is. I don't know, but that is something I want to point out. I'm be I'm gonna be honest about that. That I have recently allowed comments to bother me more so than they have in the past. I've never that I never really tripped like in the beginning. I'm gonna say like the first three or four months, but just recently like. I don't know why I took it personal. You know, and it's like, I don't want to go back and forth with anybody either. Like, I, because that's a waste of my time. Um, so I'm just getting better about just letting people have your opinion. Cool, that's how you feel. And I keep it pushing. Instead of me kind of, you know, <laughs> staring at the comment, just, you know, thinking if I'm going to respond or not. Like, I don't, <laughs> I don't want to do that. Hmm. Y'all, if it wasn't good, I wouldn't have ate it. That's all I can say. That's the truth. That was really good. Let's go ahead and wrap this video up. If you want to know how to make the hot dog, the carrot hot dog, I don't know if you want to make it or your curiosity just to see how I did it. It's about to start right now, okay? I'll be back tomorrow, y'all. All I want you to do is be good to yourself. Peace. 
So you'll want to get started with about four to six carrots. You'll want to cut them bun length and also peel the carrots. Now we're going to start with our marinade. First ingredient is one fourth cup of soy sauce. The next ingredient is one fourth cup of apple cider vinegar. Go ahead and get that in a bowl for your marinade. And next up, we're going to move on to one fourth cup of veggie broth. Please feel free to use any type of broth that you like, whatever you prefer. Next up is going to be two tablespoons of honey. Get that in the bowl. And next up is going to be one tablespoon of liquid smoke. Go ahead and get that added. And then next up, we're going to do one tablespoon of yellow mustard. And we're going to go ahead and add one tablespoon of jalapeno juice. And the last ingredient was, well, two ingredients are two cloves of garlic and one tablespoon of onion powder. So this is our marinade, getting everything mixed around, getting it situated and ready to go. Then I added it to a big Ziploc bag and I added it with the carrots. Now, what I wanted to do at this point was let it marinate, let it sit in the refrigerator for four to six hours. I did it for about four and a half hours, but four to six hours is the time frame. So I got that situated. Then I put it on the grill. So it's been on the grill for a couple minutes at this point. You see the grill marks. And while it was on the grill, I had it about a medium heat. I actually did some basting, put the marinade on the carrots while they were cooking, just to kind of, you know, push the flavor in even more. So I love, I had to go for the grill marks. That just made the most sense. Um, and once those were situated, I'm going to show you what they look like when they came fresh off the grill. This is what they look like. We've got our grilled carrots, our grilled marinated carrots. Let me be specific. All right, so that's what they look like. And now I'm getting ready to move on to actually building my chili dog. Okay, so the next step is the chili that I decided to use. I didn't want to make homemade chili, so I used Amy's chili. I got this from Sprouts. It's vegan. It's gluten-free. I added some salt to it, Himalayan salt, to punch up the flavor. And now we have our carrots in the bun, and it's about time to build our chili dog. So I'm going to go ahead and add that the chili to the first bun. And then I'm about to move on to the second bun. And once I got the chili added, I went ahead and added jalapenos. I added some sharp cheddar cheese. And I also added some raw red onions. So that's just about done. Coming together. Nice and marinated. And you can smell the smoky flavor. You can smell it in the air, all in the house. So this is the finished product. This is everything done, all of my toppings on my chili dog. And honestly, it was good. The only thing I would have done differently was keep it on the grill a little bit longer. If you decide to do the recipe, hope you enjoy. I be beaming, I be booming down that block. Down that block. Everywhere.